I just finished to write my article about CrossFit. I think it's really interesting, more than interesting, of course. Actually, I found it that it's something for me essential. I really love it. First time I test the CrossFit was actually with my reference RME AD2 duck, but I didn't give to the CrossFit the attention that probably was needed. But here I wanted to go a little bit more deeper in what is CrossFit and how it's working. And then I discovered that wow it's really something amazing so today we're speaking about crossfit what is why probably you need it and how it's working after as much so what is the crossfit as soon you start to listen with headphones, as we know, actually it's something very easy to explain. We have right channel and left channel, right? When we're listening music, our right ear is receiving only the right channels and our left ear is receiving only the left channels. There is a sort of isolation between the two channels when we're listening with headphones, something that is never happen when we're listening, for example, with hi-fi systems or, for example, in any situations of normal life. In hi-fi, our both ears are receiving both left and right channels, of course, with a different sound pressures and timing. So this sort of crossing that is not present on the headphones is the result of a naturally wide stereo image, not as the artist intended reproductions, a center imaging with lead focus and the exhausting and fatigue listening section. So what's happened as soon we enable, for example, the crossfit on the monitor XE? Very easy. A small amount of the right channels is going also on the left channels, just slightly, with a time delay. Same things happen for the left channels. How much? That really depends from your headphones amplifier or, for example, software CrossFit simulator. I had found one that you can test it for free, but we'll speak about it later. So, for example, in the Fonitor XE, that is, in my opinion, absolutely one of the best headphones amplifier CrossFit that I never test, you have the possibility to set the CrossFit level and also the CrossFit angle. So something unusual in a headphones amplifier is really complete and is working really great. For example, my RME, you can just set from one to five, the power of the CrossFit on the monitor SE is giving you the possibility to choose between two types of CrossFits, but the monitor XE is really complete with angle and levels of the CrossFit. Moving from hi-fi systems to headphones, I was really satisfied for two reasons or maybe three. The first is the amount of bass. You got this bass that is really deep, really powerful, really lovely, because you don't have any problem of room acoustic. You just wear it your headphones and that's it. You don't have to play on the speaker positions and that's absolutely a lovely thing because as we know, to achieve good result in hi-fi system, you have to play a lot with speaker position to adjust sound stage and imaging. And I absolutely appreciate the micro details that in hi-fi system we know to have something like that you need to spend some money on acoustic treatments because we have all these comb filtering problems that is giving you also problem in the intelligibility. Something that on headphones is really not at this level. But after a while I also understood that headphones have some limitations. For example, the soundstage is no more located in front of you in this horizontal field, but is more inside your heads or on a virtual vertical field. And sometimes I got also some weird sounds. We'll speak about this in a list of the songs that I did for you. And for example, the feeling that was there was more instruments than necessary. For example, two drums or two singers, one on the left, one on the right. Center imaging was a little strange. And here I start to ask myself, what's going on? 
Very easy, take one song of the Beatles, Here Comes the Suns Again, stereo remaster. You will absolutely, immediately notice that something is weird. Just try to enable a crossfit. Not only the soundstage will open, but everything it will be more natural, more realistic and less fatigue. How to test the crossfit if you don't have, for example, an amplifier with a hardware analog crossfit inside? Very easy. I found for you the Mayer crossfit plugin for FUBAR 2000. Both FUBAR 2000 and this plugin are free, just install it. Visit my website themedaudio.com for the instructions how to do it and enabled is very easy. I will let it in the descriptions. About the quality of this plugin is working, it's giving you an idea about the crossfit and what is and how it's working, but I had some transient distortions problem. So could happen also to you, just let me know. And regarding the quality, if you can get an analog crossfit, it will be of course much better. And now before to jump on a track list that I made for you, I have to tell you something about the crossfit. Two things that are really important. The first one, don't switch on and off immediately. Listening for half songs without crossfit and then enable it. And you will see that there will be more difference rather than do like that. And the second point, really important, why? And actually that's why I make this track list for you, is that the CrossFit is not so, let's say, active with every song. So probably with some songs you will not even notice any difference. And now let's take a look of the 10 best tracks to test a CrossFit. So first one is Placebo, Every You, Every Me. Guitar intro without CrossFit will be unnatural and fatigue. The guitar wrist is located inside your right headphone rather than a natural position on the soundstage. Try to enable the CrossFit and BAM! Soundstage will open. It will be only a band that is playing music as the artist intent. Next, Dave Brubeck Trolley Songs. Try to focus on the alto sax starting from the intro to the end that has an irrealistic position on the soundstage with an exaggerated stereo imaging. Also the separations between instrument, alto sax, bass, drums without crossfit is exhausting. Crossfit will clean the imaging, you will get more details and textures and everything it will be less fatigue. Whitney Houston, I have nothing. Best female voice in my opinions of all time that without CrossFit is fighting between left and right channel with a center imaging that is completely compromised. Giving a little bit of CrossFit it will give you dynamic and extensions on the beautiful Whitney Houston's voice. Next, Barry White Love Steam. Without CrossFit is like listening to different songs together, one for every channel. CrossFit will connect your brain with the artist, open the channel communication, clean the soundstage and add details to all instruments. On the right channels you will have these electrical guitars. It is doing this. If you focus on it with CrossFit, you will just feel every single string. Really incredible. Next, John Coltrane said, be careful because there are two releases, original master from Rudy Van Gelder and the remastered. So take the first one where John Coltrane is on the left and not in the center. Just enable the crossfit, you will have a beautiful soundstage, the band will be again together and it's like to really listen for us songs. Probably that's the problem why there was a remaster of these songs. I don't know. Without CrossFit, John Coltrane is, I don't know where. You have bass and drums on the right. John Coltrane on the left is just too fatigue and irrealistic. Next, Tears for Fears, Woman in Chain. A lot of reverb is present in these songs. By heading crossfit, voices are reborn with more contrast. You will get a tons of more details where instruments like cymbals will be more defined and clean. The result is a much cleaner and a more textured song. As I told you here, rather than other songs, it's really important to listen to the full songs without and after with crossfit. And then you will understand how much the CrossFit will clean the overall soundstage. And in the end, 
Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. We find the similar situations like in Every You, Every Me of the Placebo, where the guitar intro appears only on the right channels in a unrealistic situation that result fatigue and unnatural before Chris Corner is starting to sing. And that's it, that's are some songs that I found really in a couple of hours, but I have more and more of them. I noticed also that the CrossFit Among user is a little bit controversial. Maybe because I have the feeling that the CrossFit is really similar to the acoustic treatment that I did in 2021. After the treatment, I had incredibly improvement in low frequencies and intelligibility. Everything was more cleaner, but there is a but. I lost also something in the spaciousness and the sound quality was overall more dry. And I took it a couple of months before really start to realize how much better it was. And in my opinion, that's also something that could happen with the CrossFit. You will need time to really understand it. So give time to yourself. But there is one thing that I noticed it immediately. Less the songs, these 10 track list songs that I make for you to really understand quickly how it's working. One thing that really I got an immediately improvement was how less fatigue it is. For example, with my RME and the Sennheiser 800S without CrossFit, I I can listen for songs for only one hour. With the CrossFit enabled, I could achieve two, three hours without problem. It's a punchy and aggressive amplifier with the analytical headphones amplifiers that the synergy together is too fatigued. But with CrossFit, absolutely no problem. And in my opinions, this is what makes the CrossFit really so special. So if you are a person that is working a lot of times with the headphones, CrossFit will change your life. So in the end, the CrossFit for me, it's really changed my headphone experience. At least for me, there is no going back. There is one picture that I made for you that is representing what is the CrossFit for me. CrossFit off on the left and CrossFit on on the right. Everything is more clean. Soundstage is finally open and connected. Imaging and instrument separations is crazy, realistic and natural, as the artist intent. For me, at least for me, the CrossFit is the next level. From Med Audio is everything. Ah, I will let in descriptions the medaudio.com website so you can read the full article if you are interested about it. And subscribe to the channel to support my work. From Med Audio is everything. Peace.